Hello there, my brothers and sisters. Having a good time with God tonight. I tell you, man. I got some joy. I got some joy. I'm feeling the Lord's presence and I'm grateful for it. Because them them valley lows ain't no joke. No, no, they ain't. It's a straight and narrow path. It's a hard path. I mean, Jesus. It's a hard path, y'all. <laughs> but it's all right. <clears throat> we go through, you know, the Israelites, they went through the desert. They did. God led them through the desert, you know. We go through valleys. And then we go to the mountains with the Lord. Oh, I love the mountains. I wish I was in the mountaintop every day with God. But it's not like that. Sometimes it is. Sometimes you got to go back into the valley. Because we got so much pride in us, huh? So much pride. God's got to root out, man. He's got to tear us down. To build us up. Like John the Baptist said, we must decrease and he must increase. And valleys are where he helps us decrease. Valleys are deserts, are there are the wilderness, are where he refines us. Mountain tops are where he shows us his greatness and perfection. How wonderful he is. Oh, you know, there's been times in my walk where I was just like, I mean, just recently, <laughs> even, I'm like, God, where are you? God, where are you? God, have you left me? Oh, Lord, I need you. I, I was like, I need you, I need you, I need you. Oh, man, I tell you, I was a little baby crying out to God, crying my butt off, man. I'm like, have you left me? I feel like I'm in the dark in my soul. Where are you? And it's not easy. It's not easy when you go through times like that in your relationship with Christ. It's like, give me back the mountaintops. I remember your love. Why can't I feel it now? But then my Holy Spirit brings you through it and puts your feet on a rock and you meet him in the mountain top you know you know actually i've been saying lately he puts our feet on the rock but it's actually us that has to build our house on the rock we actually have to read and apply the word otherwise we're not really on that rock now are we nope Man, he is faithful, y'all. Mm -hmm. He is faithful and loving and kind. He is good. He is good. I learned to not be angry at God in the valley lows. Mm. Those times where it hurt so bad. I didn't think I could go on anymore. The knife called my name. My veins wanted to bleed. I didn't think I could go on anymore. Mm, there was times where I was so low. But God. But God, but God, 
but God, but God. And his faithfulness held me in his grasp, in his grasp. He held me. He would not let me go. No. He loved me. It says in the Bible, a smoldering flax. A smolder. What does that scripture say? A smoldering wick. A bruised reed he will not break. A smoldering wick he will not quench. A reed is some kind of plant and you like blow it and it makes noise and so I'm thinking a bruised reed a bruised reed is a broken reed and it's also a plant material that's very easily to break <laughs> and smoldering flax I don't know I think it's just saying that like when we're about to freaking croak <laughs> Like, he's not gonna, like, he's gonna surround us, and he's gonna help us through it. I don't know. We're weak and not good sometimes. Really, 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 really not good sometimes. But God, but oh God, he's there to gently blow on us, so to speak metaphorically and just encourage us and love us and we can't always see him or discern what he's doing but he's there if you know him and you're not rejecting him <laughs> I mean some people hate the Holy Spirit <laughs> I don't I love the Holy Spirit and Man, don't ever say a word against the Holy Spirit. That is the one sin that you will never be forgiven for. Never. Don't ever, 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 ever speak against the Holy Spirit. If you don't want to go to hell for all eternity. Okay? Because God said that is the one sin you cannot be forgiven for. God is not mocked, no, and he, he's not a liar like man, so don't ever blaspheme the Holy Spirit. The Lord is amazing. He is so precious, he'll help you through it, whatever you're going through. I'm just going to leave you guys with this song I wrote tonight with God. I'm telling you guys, it has been a nice night. Valley top of God. Mm. I'm coming out of a valley. I appreciate the mountaintops much more once I come out of valleys. <laughs> okay, so this is called He Knows. I wrote this with God tonight. Praise you, Lord. I pray you be glorified through this. Thank you, Lord, for using me as your vessel to... That you have works for me. Beautiful things that you created me to do. You created me for these. For this song. And for other things I do for you. I pray that people come to know you. Through this video Lord. It will touch their heart. In Jesus name. Amen. It's called He Knows. <clears throat> First. I'm trying to clear my throat over here. <coughs> Makes a difference when you have a clear throat. I'm getting my voice back. I messed up. In my valley top, valley low, I kind of screamed at my husband. I didn't say mean things. <laughs> I told him the truth. He needed to see God. <laughs> but I shouldn't have yelled it at him. That was not right. I repented. I did. I'm cool with God now. He's forgiving. <laughs> I lacked some self-control. I did. I did. But God, he forgave me. I repented. I was sincere. He's a good, good father. We have an advocate with the Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, who who took who helps us when we mess up against God. Alright. Here we go. 
And we're help me sing this. In Jesus' name, for your glory, Lord, and for your com for the comfort of the people, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. He knows, he knows, he knows your pain. He knows, he knows, he knows your suffering. And how it's you. I pray that it touched your heart and comforted you and led you to the presence of God. He loves you. A song called I Know. He Knows, I'm sorry. A song called He Knows. God bless you guys.
have a great night and uh, go to sleep. Bye-bye.